I win. I win. I win. I get my blue fin depot, fellas. <laughs> Happy, oh my god, they just dropped a patch at 5 o'clock out of nowhere day. It's chill season 2023. It looks like we're only getting eight kits again, which is sad, but they look good at least. Blaster doesn't look like it's gonna be blue, which is unfortunate, but uh, otherwise it's good. Dude, the, the green squeezer is so cute. I, I love that for it. They finally dropped a new special too. And I think they I think they put it on the undercover umbrella. Yeah, it's it's definitely on the undercover umbrella. <laughs> Dude, now you're gonna have weapon with shield that doesn't break with the special that is just a giant shield that also kind of makes you see the game as if you turned on grayscale for a moment. Like, you know when people do those, haha, I'm gonna play Splatoon in grayscale challenges? Um, well, now it's the whole game. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is just, a, it's a really good trailer. They have all these, like, fun effects they didn't have to do. They could have easily just gone like the, hey, guys, here's some gameplay footage here of the game. Here you go. But no, no, no. They, like, added effects. They literally put a to-be-continued meme. I, I don't know. I, whoever did that, give them a raise, please. Dude, it's just, it's just good. It's just good. There's so much going on here. We don't know anything about the new items, if they're adding anything to the lockers or anything like that. Usually that ends up being shown to us a little bit later. There's been a couple of new pieces of gear shown. Who knows if it'll be a heavy season or not. That's something we won't know until Nintendo actually goes ahead and tweets like, Hey guys, we're giving you a bunch of gear! Or they just, you know, do nothing and hope that you don't notice. <laughs> There's that cute little hat that they're wearing. I like the cute little detective hat. That's like one. We can't really see too many of the kits on the jump. The only one that they make very, very clear in the video, excluding the one that the undercover has, is that the S-Blast is getting Burst Bomb, which at this moment as I'm speaking, everyone on Twitter is going crazy about that because Burst Bomb doesn't get the honor of being on too many blasters. Last time a blaster got Burst Bomb or was close to getting burst bomb i remember it was uh there was an update in splatoon 2 where in one of the trailers they show for like a split second a clash blaster and like the burst bomb throwing sound effect but then we never actually got burst bomb clash blaster and a lot of people were like oh okay 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 i guess <laughs> so seeing as range blaster is kind of S blast now in a way for some people at least the spiritual successor is finally getting a burst which will make a lot of people happy but seriously what are all these effects in the trailer who, who do they pay for this it looks so good can they can they do more of that it's not too late nintendo if you want to make some like retro -y, splatoon pixely games i'll be down I'll be down, and here I can date this video and be like, haha, if Nintendo makes a pixely Splatoon game, they can be put as, a, as an indie in the Game Awards. Shout out to Nexon and David the Diver, am I right, ladies? <laughs> Nintendo thinks they're so slick when they go ahead and they try to just shoehorn the Salmon Run stuff into like a three second little spot in the trailer. Do you think that I don't see the big run, Nintendo? Do you think I don't see the barnacle and dime? Do you think I don't see it? Do you think I don't see maws, but significantly bigger? Like, dude, now that we know we can get more king salmonids, that means that means we can still get whirlpool, please. <laughs> whirlpool can still happen. I really hope that we get like at least maybe like one more king salmonid beyond this. I feel like four is a good number. I know it's Splatoon 3, but a woman can dream, okay? I'm gonna keep on dreaming until the game is over. We still have a lot of updates left to go in this game at minimum. We know we're gonna have updates next year in the spring, next year in the summer. I'm assuming they would do one more update when the fall rolls around before they hit their two-year end of service, assuming they're staying on track. If we get eight kits this season, next season, and the season after that, I'm pretty sure we'll just kind of end with, with only having like two kits per weapon, which is unfortunate. Something that like a lot of people are noticing really quick is that Nintendo still really isn't giving too many kits to like the backline weapons. Like where's the, where's the Elator kit? Where's Explo kit? I really want an Explo kit. <laughs> I really, I really want something on Explo that's like different, please. No more point sensor. I, I'll take anything really. I, I really, really will. I feel like saying I'll take anything though implies Nintendo could like jump scare me with like reef slider. So take that with a tailor grain of salt, Nintendo, okay? <laughs> Either way, I, I haven't even started talking about the maps. Hi? I was really scared 
when this trailer started. I thought they were about to hit us with Gobi Arena again. They would never do that, right? Gobi Arena is like the ultimate map where you get trapped and you can't like come back because it's like there's a drop in the middle. And with the specials we have in this game, it would have been so difficult. But thank God I, I was wrong. We take those. <laughs> They did that little super jump to kind of like show the map a bit and it looks it looks good like it looks really fun it, it looks like there's like a lot of room to work with and it makes me really hopeful that they'll continue designing more maps in the future that look good and they still have time to go back and change the design of certain maps we already have in the game we've seen what they do at mahi mahi resort so who knows what they'll do next and then we have we have the beloved to have bluefin Depot. bluefin Depot is there bluefin Depot is real they, it doesn't look like they changed it too significantly from first glance, so we haven't seen the whole map. They added, like, a stage gimmick. I, I didn't expect an actual stage gimmick. Nintendo doing a thing. Like, you saw the little platform goes, like, up and down for Bluefin Depot. I, I, I never would have expected them to do anything again. You know, we don't have shifty stations in this game, so a lot of the maps kind of are rather plain as a result. But Bluefin Depot, it looks like that little platform they used to, like, climb. They have to, like, wait for it to go up and down, which is a good change. Because uh, in Splatoon 1, there'd be a lot of people that would camp that little drop. Also, with Kraken being in this game, a lot of people would just crack in straight up that wall and cause havoc. If you gotta wait, it at least gives people a chance to, like, run <laughs> if they see you there. Dude, I just, I have a lot of high hopes for this season. It feels like it'll change the game in a way that feels good. Like with the wall, do you think I'm not seeing what you're seeing, Nintendo, here? Even if people aren't willing to get near it, it's automatically a way of slowing down players who are using far away specials. The things that have plagued this game the most. Your crabs, your zookas. How are people gonna see what's on the other side if there's a wall so tall you can't tell? I suppose if you wanted to, you could just fire willy-nilly and hope for the best. And I'm sure that's what people will do. They'll just arc their Zooka shots and their crab shots really high up. But doing that usually isn't guaranteed to be successful, you know? It's the kind of thing you do and you kind of hope for the best when you do it. It weakens those specials and helps to fix the balance of the game, which is hopefully what this special will do and at the same time it alters how combat looks because when you're in this desaturated environment after running through that wall it's harder for you as the person who's like on the other team to actually fight i know the game wants to encourage more close quarters combat and the best way to do that is to find a way to simultaneously stop things that are long range from causing too much problems while also not making like close range battles suddenly like so much better that's the only thing that you want to do you know it's good that this particular update does have a good mix of weapons at both range types. There's no, like, charger-type weapon, but we, we get Reef. <laughs> we get Reef, but that's not, like, a long-range charger. Reef fills a completely different niche. I think the longest-range weapon that we're getting during this, I think, is Squeezer, right? I think Squeezer's our long-range guy. Then we got things like Pain Brush. We got things like Blaster. We got S Blast too. S Blast's ground shot at least goes pretty far. You gotta think about that. I'm curious what the kit is gonna be for the dualies. Will they go the easy way and just give us curling inkjet like many are asking? Or are they gonna get quirky with it? I'm curious how many of these weapons will also like, get the big wall. If I was gonna give the big wall to another weapon out of this set, I don't think they're gonna give it to regular blaster because regular blaster has big bubbler already i think if they're gonna give it to anything i could see them doing it for s blast just because s blast can like move in and out and through the wall and its regular kit has a very aggressive fast moving special giving it the wall would kind of encourage a completely different play style and it could chip away with the burst bombs so that's gonna be my bet i can't wait for nintendo to prove me wrong super duper fast <laughs> Thanks for listening to me ramble about this. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. Splatoon 3 keeps moving forward. And um, I will be grinding for that new King Salmonid boss badge the millisecond that I'm able to. Bye. Sorry for all the car noises. I'm in a parking lot. <laughs>